What is going on guys? Skits here back with yet another short and sweet World of Warcraft gold guide and today I'm going to answer the question everybody keeps asking me how did you get your Bloodfang Widow so fast? What are you doing now to make gold? What do you think is going to happen when the Blood of Sargeras Trader comes out in 7.1 so on and so forth? So today strictly I'm just going to talk about how I made uh, a quick 2 million gold casual gold in the first month that legion's been out so i'm going to run through the gem progression i'm going to talk really freely this is maybe a video you want to put on in the gym or if you're in the car or rolling around i'm just going to go to the auction house and i'm going to talk and try to elaborate as much as i can so you guys can see kind of my daily progression on what i do at the auction house so let's open up the auction house real quick and then uh, open up jewel crafting and jump into it. So this requires no gathering, no mining, no nothing. I strictly just capitalize off of people's underpriced fell slate and lay stone ore, mass prospect everything, and then I either cut the gem or I sell it uncut if it's more expensive. So let's just work on today's video. We're gonna talk about the gems and uh, we'll start from the bottom up. So in the previous videos I put out, I put out a video about how I was snatching up all of these uh, green gems. And if you take a look here, one green gem, you see how they're at nine gold and three gold guides. So, excuse me, all of these four here, your deep, your deadly deep amber, your masterful queen's opal, quick azunite and versatile skystone. All of these guys look three gold, nine gold a pop. And I know 100% if I buy this gem right now and obliterate it, it's going to give me no more or no less than one obliterum ash. So that's very, very clutch because if I buy 100 of these, you know, that price will, you know, depending on what obliterum, the price of obliterum is, uh, I'm going to make a killing. The only downside with this, so 1,600 um, gold per obliterum, and these gems were going for three gold per so if you bought a hundred of those that's 300 gold you're looking at a ridiculous profit but the only thing the only downside to this guys is at the obliterum forge if you have the add-on easy obliterate it makes it easier but you have to click one at a time to obliterate ash by ash by ash so that's the only kind of um terrible thing with this flip but any gold any gold at all is good gold so it all spends the same i like to say so these four gems, uh, I, uh, the green gems, I always look out for that. If I'm bored and just winding down my stream or doing anything like that, I will snatch these up, craft them into their respectable gem, and then I will obliterate them and, you know, take the ash, form it into obliterum, and then sell it. So that is the four green gems that I work on. That's my last resort. That's probably like my penny-pinching way of making money jewel crafting. So let's get into the bulk of this video and how I've made an absolute smashing gold-wise the first month, uh, I guess you could say Legion's been out. So all of these four gems, guys, I guess all of these, from the Saber's Eye to your Deadly Eye, your Masterful Shadow Ruby, Quick Dawn Light, and Versatile Maelstrom Sapphire, all of these require a blood. So if you find these at all, let's just go through one at a time. If you find them cheap, on the auction house don't be afraid to reset the market and what i mean by that guys is all of these as you can see here that the gap the price difference gap is just because people are too lazy to craft them they're out of blood they don't have the recipe so on and so forth so with this add-on auctionator i go uh through my daily progression i click on just the uncut gem of each which will show the uncut gem and the gap on how big this is right here. So here's another great example of how I make gold and what you should do. So you see I'm undercut right here. And once you find a good price or you find a gem that's selling for a lot, you need to craft that gem heavy and then sit on the auction house for a good hour or two hours and do not be afraid to undercut, undercut, undercut. Because with these valuable gems, even with the saber's eye, even though they're rare and um, you know not uncommon, for these you know deposits at the auction house to be astronomical but it's not for these it's only 30 30 silver i think or 40 silver in some case so for a lot of these gems that are selling for six thousand seven thousand eight thousand plus nine thousand plus 
a matter of undercutting somebody for 30 silver just so your gem is the cheapest on the auction house is going to be the make it or break it whether you sell it or you don't sell it so i hope that kind of helps and once again guys with all my videos if you have any questions or further questions detailed questions put them in the comments below i will answer them as quickly and as efficiently as possible so what else guys i um throughout peak hours you're going to notice that all of these sell relatively fast. Right now it's 4 o'clock in the morning, so I'm just putting out this video to end the day. But I am honestly, guys, making a killing with the Saber's Eye because if you look at the materials for this, Fury Stone and Pandemonite go for, you know, Pandemonite sometimes spikes at, at random times, but people almost disregard the Fury Stone because it's kind of like, you know, the red, excuse my language, like bullshit gem and nobody really you can't craft it into any of these 150 plus stat gems excuse me like right here so people almost disregard that not knowing that that's the primary or one of the main gem ingredients for saber's eye themselves so these guys have been just i've been on cruise control with these the mat cost for all of this is probably um you know, a, a tenth, a twentieth of the price that you could actually sell the gem for. So you could get this for, you know, 3K gold. And just with patience and persistence, if you just keep relisting your Saber's Eye, they will sell during peak hours, guys. And to wrap this video up, I probably forgot a bunch of stuff, but the most important part of this video and what I want you guys to take away from this is the Blood of Sargeras. Do I have Blood of Sargeras at all time? Absolutely not. Do I have Blood of Sargeras most of the time? Absolutely not, guys. I take advantage of everybody else's blood because you know what? People are doing heroics. People are farming. They're doing their world quests. They're leveling up jewel crafting. They have no idea that you are capitalizing on, you know, for instance, I'll gather up the materials for 10 or 15 Saber's Eye, find a jewel crafter in trade chat, have him either you know level up through his jewel crafting or i'll tip him you know a couple hundred gold or a thousand gold or whatever but most people just disregard the actual real cost value or the real i guess time value in the blood of sargeras so and with the trader coming in 7.1 guys i'm very confident that people are going to completely dump all of their bloods on unnecessary materials and ore and fish and herbs and all kinds of stuff like that and then at the end of the day that's going to leave the gap open for people that need gems that and they need blood for those gems if that makes sense guys so if you have the materials for any of your gems so like any of these 150 plus stat gems or the saber's eye and you look um, on your realm and they're selling relatively well you have no bloods don't worry about it just go in trade chat say you're looking for a jewel crafter bang bang boogie as you can see now we're going to wrap the video up um, by just trade chats popping off again with all of the selling uh, as we're making the video so i hope this video helped i hope this wasn't too confusing but jewel crafting has been my go-to for gold making in legion so far i landed the uh, blood fang widow relatively fast and once again guys um prospect 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 buy over or excuse me underpriced or i always post in trade chat you know once or twice an hour to see if people are selling them at bulk prices it's really simple to just sit in your main city prospect cut the gems if you run out of bloods grab a buddy tip them they'll make the gems and you guys can just repost your gems over and over and over again if you get undercut don't worry about it Put them up in stacks of like you know two or three and i'm telling you guys they will pop off also last thing i noticed later on in the night you're gonna have a lot less people on so that's typically when i put up my bigger batches of like 10 or 15 gems because i know if i get undercut throughout the early morning or the night uh, the, I mean, excuse me, waking up into the early morning throughout the day, it's only going to be by a couple people. So if they put up a couple gems and those sell, I'm still going to have my big batch behind that to rock and roll. So uh, once again, guys, if this video helped in any way, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I will answer them as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Like, share, and most importantly, if you want more gold guides video, daily gold guide videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. I'm out of here. Have a great day. Peace.